Hi, I'm Vanessa Carroll. I'm a clinical EFT practitioner and stress management health coach. And in this video, I'm going to help you process through some emotions such as grief and loss using emotional freedom techniques, also known as EFT or tapping. If you're brand new to tapping or learning the sequence, you might wanna start with the basics of tapping video first, uh, but you're welcome to follow along because I'm just going to dive right in and help you get some relief, okay? So in order to get started, I'm just going to have you take a moment to close your eyes and see where you're at, what emotion you're feeling. Grief and loss can come in so many different forms and it might have just happened or you might have been grieving for quite some time. Um, and just to give you a disclaimer, grief can heal on its own timeline. So um, this is not to just process through it very quickly, but really to just reduce some of the emotion, uh, intense, intensity of the emotions that you're feeling right now. Okay, so you might be in the beginning stages where you're more in shock and disbelief of what happened. Uh, you might be in the sadness, in the grief, in the loss, in the despair, the yearning um, of it all. Okay, you might also be experiencing fear, anxiety of the future, uh, what's to hold now that this person or loved one is gone, or where your life looks like now that you've lost something that you really care about. Or you might be in um, feelings of anger and resentment of why it happened, how it happened, who's, who's, who's to blame for it. Okay. Um, or you might even be feeling some guilt. Maybe there's some regret, something that you didn't get to do before this thing or person went away. So just gauging where you're at, what emotion is present for you. And it is normal to have several emotions. So um, a good place to start would be the one that's a little bit stronger for you. And if it does feel even, then you just start somewhere. So just picking the emotion that is strongest for you in this moment. And the next step would be just to gauge how intense it is, okay? In order to see a shift or feel a shift, you kind of want to know where you're starting at. So uh, it's important just to gauge right now on a scale of zero to 10, how intense is it? How intense is this emotion? Zero would be, I don't feel it at all. I'm completely numb. Or 10 is it's extremely, extremely intense. You're at your highest level of intensity. So what's your gut tell you? What's your intuition tell you? What number are you at? You can jot that number down or remember it. And as we start tapping, we're tapping into your emotional brain. Um, thinking about the emotion, feeling the emotion, and it helps to shift your brain into a new way of thinking or reduce the emotion at least, okay? So we're going to start with the side of the hand. That's where we always start. And here is where we do our setup statement where we acknowledge what we're feeling and showing our, uh, showing our body some self-acceptance as well. So uh, you would repeat after me, and I'm just gonna give you an example to start. Even though I'm feeling all this sadness, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so you're gonna say the word or emotion that really resonates with you. Even though I feel, I deeply and completely accept myself. Good, let's do that again. Even though I feel, state your emotion. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. Now we're gonna go through the points and you're simply going to just state your emotion. So for example, we'll start at the top of the head and I'll state all the sadness. Okay. Eyebrow. So you're just gonna state your actual emotion that you're feeling right now. And we'll just keep one at a time. So you're gonna just state one emotion, side of the eye. It's only stating one emotion until it has a shift to really like a two, one, or zero. So you wanna just stick with that one emotion for now. Under the eye, just stating your emotion every time we tap on a different point. Under the nose. Chin. Collarbone, right below the collarbone points, or you can go across like this. 
Okay, just stating your emotion. Under the arm, about four inches below the armpit, right on your lats. You can use an open hand. Stating your emotion. Okay, so now that you've got the hang of it, we'll just do a few more rounds. So again, out loud, stating your emotion, just one at a time. Eyebrow. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. So we're just gonna still verbalize it out loud, okay? Chin, I feel what? Collarbone. Under the arm. Okay, now we're gonna keep going, but on this next round, we're simply going to feel the emotion, okay? So you might just feel the emotion instead of verbalizing it out loud. So I'm gonna feel the sadness, and some of you might be able to actually locate it in the body. A lot of times if you're feeling sadness, it could be in the heart center. So just noticing what's up for your body right now. If you're noticing any pains, tightness, aching, Okay, especially if you're feeling like tears are coming up, you might feel some sensations in the throat. So just noticing the sensations of this emotion. Eyebrow. Side of the eye, just tuning into it. Under the eye, right on the bone. Under the nose. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Filling up your abdomen with air, and then exhaling through the mouth, nice and slow. Good, let's move down to the chin. And you're still just staying in touch with your emotion. Collarbone. So feeling the emotion, and if it's showing up as a physical uh, sensation, we're going to use that for the next round. Let's go under the arm. Okay. So if you are feeling a physical sensation, uh, you're going to just state it out loud. So for example, I could feel like a little tightness in my chest. So I'm going to state as I'm tapping through the points, this tightness in my chest. Uh, use whatever verbiage is true to you in this moment for whatever physical sensations are going on. If you're not feeling any physical uh, sensations, then you just state out loud your emotion again, okay? So again, I'm gonna just state this tightness in my chest. Eyebrow, this tightness in my chest. So I'm just stating it and focusing on the actual tightness in my chest. Side of the eye. So you're just focusing on the physical sensation that's true for you or the emotion that's true for you, stating it out loud. Under the nose. So I'm gonna keep stating tightness in my chest for me. Chin, so you state what is true for you. Saying it out loud, collarbone. Under the arm. Top of the head. So we're just doing another round on the same thing, stating it out loud. Eyebrow. A lot of our emotions get trapped in the body, so stating the physical sensations that you're experiencing can be really helpful while we're tapping. Side, side of the eye and under the eye, under the nose, chin, still stating it out loud, moving to the collarbone, and under the arm. So let's take a little break here and you're just gonna check in again and seeing if the intensity shifted at all for you. So sometimes because we're getting in touch with the emotional part of our brain, the intensity can go up before it goes down and that's quite normal. 
So if that happened to you, that's fine. You can just keep tapping. It will shift in the downward dire direction. Um, so just seeing where you're at right now, you might want to gauge on a scale of zero to 10, what that shift is like for you. Okay. And at this point you can, uh, see where you're at. If you're at a two or less, um, then you might want to just shift to the next emotion. However, if you're still in it, if you're still in that same emotion, just start this video over again and go through it until you start, uh, feeling that literal shift in the emotion. So it should come down quite a bit. Okay. Um, for those of you that are on a different emotion now, like you went through that first one and now you're feeling something new, then start this video over and just do the same thing using the new emotion that you have until it comes down to a two, one, or zero where it's really light, okay? And um, for those of you that need a little bit more support, um, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you're feeling like this is a pattern that you just cannot get out of and you're feeling stuck, that might be a good time to reach out to a clinical EFT practitioner like myself or someone else that you know um, that can help you lessen that actual tra traumatic event that happened so that you can actually move and heal through some of these, um, these patterns that feel stuck for you right now. Or if they're really intense and this feels just a lot to do on your own, um, reaching out to a practitioner can be really helpful. So you can see the link below in the video. Um, the main thing is to just keep going because you will feel the shift. Some people feel it after just a couple minutes. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes of tapping to really feel that shift. Depends on the intensity, okay? But just take your time with it and realizing that grief is a process. Um, if you are currently in the middle of an emotion right now and um, you want to just keep tapping some more, I'm going to just take you through a way to just make it a little bit less intense so that you can put the emotion away in a sense mentally so that you can work on it at a later time if this is feeling a little too emotionally charged for you, okay? So let's go ahead and do that if you're feeling still a little bit uh, intense about the, the emotions and you want to, you need to put it away for now if you need to move on with your day. This is a good way to just end your, your own session. Okay, even though I still have some more grief and loss to process, you can just repeat that after me. I'm choosing to put it away for now. So in your mind, you're just gonna pick a place to put it. Um, I always recommend a container of some sort and keep it away from your body. So for example, I might put it in a shoe box in the back closet of my house. Okay, so it might sound a little silly, but it actually helps you to physically take it out of your body and put it somewhere um, that you can reach it again later and process it when you're ready. So even though I still have more grief and loss to process and the other emotions that come with it, I'm choosing to put it, you can state where, I'm putting mine in the shoebox in the back closet and I will deal with it later when I am ready. Let's go to the top of the head. For right now, I'm choosing a better emotion to feel the rest of the day. So let's move to the eyebrow. And I just want you to think about the regenerating emotion. So think of either calmness or happiness or joy or excitement, side of the eye. Just another emotion that's a lot higher vibration or a lot better feeling than the sadness and grief and loss that you're feeling right now. So how would, you, how would you like to feel for the rest of the day under the eye? So I'm choosing calmness and peace okay, under the nose. I choose to feel calmness and peace for the rest of the day. So you're just gonna state your emotion that you'd like to feel, chin. I choose to feel blank for the rest of the day. Collarbone. I'm putting away this grief and loss under the arm and I choose to feel calm and peace for the rest of the day, top of the head. Now we're just gonna think of a place or person that brings you that feeling. So for me, I'm thinking of this background photo that I have, the mountains of the lakes that brings me calm and peace. And we're just gonna tap to the points while you're thinking about the person 
place or thing side of the eye that brings you that new feeling that you'd like to feel okay side of the eye or excuse me under the eye under the nose still thinking about that peaceful place or whatever brings you that regenerative feeling the chin the collarbone under the arm. Good. So I hope that lands you in a better emotion. Uh, just remember that tapping is a self-help tool that can really help you move through these emotions and really any difficult negative emotions that are coming up that we're meant to experience, but when they get um, too intense or they're stuck for a while and we can't move past them, uh, emotional freedom techniques are great tools to help you move through them. So just pull out your techniques. You can use them daily um, just to help offload or anytime a situation really brings up these difficult and heavy emotions for you. Um, hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And again, reach out if you need any further support. Take care.